light rays right here. So we're going to go ahead and drag the default one on top of the text file. Very simple. And then what we're going to do is, as you can see, it adds like this little uh, white glow to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag down the sensitivity to zero. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. It is Wednesday, brand new video for you guys. And oh my God, this is the 300th Vegas tutorial I have ever uploaded on my channel. So make sure to just go ahead and spam hashtag hype or 300 hype because like I've said, this is the 300th episode I did of Vegas tutorial. So that's really awesome. So make sure to smash the like button down below already. And I would say, let's get started. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a 3D thumbnail. Now, before you guys are going to go ahead and comment, hey, Alex, this does not look like a 3D thumbnail at all. What we're going to do is we're going to add in some 3D text onto an image. Because if we're going to make a thumbnail completely 3D, nobody's using that these days and nobody's going to click on that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by dragging in our image of Fortnite, which is going to be this one. As you can see, a very nice picture. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in some 3D text at the bottom. Now, I want I want to I want you I want to make clear that you guys don't have to misunderstand this you know you know like a 3d thumbnail meaning that everything is 3d well we're gonna just add in some awesome nice black uh, well just regular text and we're gonna make that give that text like a 3d kind of vibe so what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna add in a little black line at the bottom that we're gonna put our text on so as you can see this is basically the line and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mask it out real quick because I just want to have it like nice and thin for example like this then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the track motion icon right here and we're gonna put this guy down and what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and lower the opacity just a little as you can see like that so that looks really cool now we're gonna go ahead and proceed to add our text so go to media generators we want to pick titles and text and drag that guy on top of our uh, thumbnail so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna type in battle royale like that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select a nice font that's gonna fit and suit this thumbnail so I think this one looks very very nice what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and position it and make it a little bit smaller like so as you can see this looks very very nice and but it doesn't look 3d yet so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to the video effects tab and what we're gonna do then is we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see light rays right here so we're we're gonna go ahead and drag the default one on top of the text file very simple and then what we're gonna do is as you can see it adds like this little uh, white glow to it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag down the sensitivity to zero for now and we're gonna bring the strength all the way up the sensitivity I would say for example a uh, little bit more halfway then all those uh, radius and the feather all up. You wanna bring the blend all the way up and then the noise on zero. Now if we're gonna go ahead and you know look for a black or kind of a, uh, a purple-ish glow. What we can do is we can also mess around with the light like source as you can see like where it's coming from. So if you go ahead and bring down the sensitivity or I mean the strength, as you can see right now, we can just add in this like 3D kind of vibe. So it's, it's looking very, very nice. And you're probably thinking that that does not look 3D. That's just kind of a purple shadow to it. But what we can do to really give that touch is to go to the compositing mode. Then we're gonna pick 3D Source Alpha. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna go to the video effects and we're going to pick stereoscopic 3D adjust. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that guy on top of the clip. You can just go ahead and you can apply multiple effects on there so it will kind of look like an RGB thing. So basically that's it for this video guys. I wanna thank guys for watching the, the 300th Vegas tutorial. I hope this video was helpful to you and if not, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And what you can also do is if this not look 3D enough for you, you can go to defonts.com and install like 3D fonts and use it that way. So it's either way, it's a win-win situation, guys. So that's gonna be it. I'll thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys obviously in a brand new Alex Thoughts episode every Thursday. So I'll catch you guys obviously tomorrow.